Hello everyone and welcome back to Painting with Martin. I'm back from Essen Spiel and if you haven't watched some of my videos about the convention, please go and do so uh, after this video. Because right now I want your attention about a game that is not malicious because I've chosen also to review a few games that I find really interesting. Um, it can be with miniatures and it also can be without miniatures, but the games that are have somewhat of an appeal to me. And this one does not have any miniatures whatsoever, so it's just gonna, just gonna be what's in the box. This is called Gateway Island from Run Rider Games. And this, as it says on the box, your introduction to board games. So if you look at the uh, back side of it, you can see that it has a number of games inside of it. Um, you can play a lot of players with this one, and some of the games will be only two players, maybe even solo games. Um, it plays around between 15 and 45 minutes, depending on which game you choose, and is designed to actually introduce you to the wonderful world of board gaming, and actually modern day board gaming as it says on the box. It is designed by Matteo Boca and Piers Martinson, and has illustrations by Sarah Goria, as well as graphics by Luca Carbone. So let's open up the box and see what, what's actually in the box. So in this case, I'll take out my trusty like a little knife here, see if, where I can get a, a little hole in the plastics. I picked this one up in Essence Spiel, and it cost me about, I think it was 20 euros for the box. Um, it's quite, quite an affordable price, and it's designed, as I said, for people who have never played board games before, or if you want to teach board games to someone who have never played before. So let's open it up. I have no idea what's in the box. I'm gonna place the box over here, and as you can see here, it has a, um, a cloth bag. It also has some white and black tokens and a die. It has some nice cubes in different colors. And it has, let's see if we can open up the box here. Well, that is a, an extremely thick rules book with over 70 pages describing the game. Lots of different stuff. It's one of the game is called The Intruder, the other one is called Fishing the Day, uh, Eagle Eye, Meanies are in our midst, and as you can see here, there's an index on the back of the rulebook saying that there's um, 16 abstract games. Uh, no, there's an abstract game on page 16. There is a uh, number of player counts, so you can play four to nine players, two players, one to four players, two to five players, and so on and so forth. There's also the complexity here of each game, which also has a page number. So if I say I want to play page uh, number two, it has a very uh, simple complexity. And if I look at two here, let's see where I can find it. It is a party game. So let's look at a party game. And also in this case, it is uh, for two to six players. So let's look this up for a moment and see what it is. Um, on page two, you have or actually it should have been, uh, it's not page two, it's a number on the uh, number and the net gain, uh, the number of the game. So it's called Eagle Eye in this case. Let's see if I can, yeah, Eagle Eye. So put this one aside here. Let's see here, it has something else. It has a supplement, um, um, late, a small introduction, um, it has only seven pages and Let's say, oh yeah, here, there's some nice boards over here. So let's open them up, see what's in the boards. And I assume that these are gonna be the games themselves or the, the uh, so various things, looks quite nice. Sorry for the glare here, let's see if I can turn away the, uh, the uh, maybe that's a little bit better. Oh, the glare's still there. Um, so number of things, really nice illustrations, putting this one to a side. And back here in the game, back of the game box, really convenient, it has a score track here, starting from zero, like clams here or whatever it is, because it is an island, it's an island theme game, going all the way up till um, 49, I suppose it's gonna be past 50 as well. Look at the back of the box, and there you go. So this is Gateway Island for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna review this game. I might or I might choose one of the games that I'm gonna review, but since I am a teacher and I teach English in a school, uh, I'm gonna use this one, uh, this game, or I'm gonna to try to use the game to actually uh, teach some of the modern techniques, modern mechanics of board games to kids who have never really played things like worker placement or uh, push your luck or say bidding or something like that. So if you like this video, please consider liking, share, and more importantly, subscribing. It really helps me grow. And 
stay tuned for more updates. Thank you very much for watching.